Welcome to the Doodle Show, live from Starbucks. I'm your host, my wonderful. Happy Wednesday, how are you? So, uh, yeah, that was a great introduction song by the McKenzie's. Yeah, actually the real McKenzie's. <laughs> Punk rock theme today. I got another song by Dropkick Murphy's, yeah. So, the images in the background. So the one on the left, so I have this folder in my pictures where I take screenshots where the uh, cinematographer is trying to like basically create art in one shot, yeah? And whenever I watch movies, I kind of say to myself, oh, when I went into one of those shots, I'm gonna take a screenshot and then uh, just put it in my art collection. <laughs> I saw this hat and I thought, wow, the hat and a dress. That's, uh, somebody put a lot of effort into this, yeah? And, uh, the, uh, sky being mostly kind of blue-white there. It's a really good shot, yeah? So, unfortunately, I only have three of those. <laughs> I need to get with it, yeah? I just, uh, when I'm watching movies, I'm not thinking about it. The other shot with the eagle and the blue jay, uh, that came up this weekend. Yeah, somebody... Got lucky taking a shot of the eagle and a blue jay photobombed him. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, of course, we got our UFOs flying around there. And uh, today's doodle has a theme yesterday's society living in tomorrow's technology. Yeah. So the uh, name of the Dropkick Murphy song is. Um, Tomorrow's industry, and the lyric for them is yesterday's values living in tomorrow's industry. And uh, you know, the song came up, and I saw this uh, uh, thing come up on my timeline from 1912. So let's share that. Yeah, <coughs> we're gonna get back to this in a second. Yeah, so. Uh, in August 14, 1912, Science Notes and News, the furnaces of the world are now burning two billion tons of coal a year. When this is burned, uh, uniting with oxygen, it adds about seven billion tons. Is that right? Yeah, seven billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere yearly. Is that seven billion? Yeah. This tends to make the air a more effective blanket for the Earth and to raise its temperature. This effect may be considerable in a few centuries. <laughs> so this came up and I thought, what a lost opportunity. Um, you know, global warming, the actual climatology science is far more sophisticated than this. Uh, carbon dioxide is not specifically an insulator as it's being presented with the blanket metaphor here. but. I think for the everyday person, that's fine. I think we sh they should have just stuck with this one sentence. You know, CO2 tends to make the air a more effective blanket for the Earth and to raise its temperature, you know. Now, if you want to get nitpicky about the actual physics <laughs> and the chemistry, sure, fine. But uh, anyway, that came up. And then, uh, so this came up in my news feed today. This is the uh, insider newsletter for today. Boomers are entering their twilight years, and as they ride off into the sunset, they're leaving behind an economy that isn't really built to accommodate the demands of the 21st century. They've spent the last few decades shaping the world that has made the current credit more crunch more painful and sets up future generations for continued deprivation. Their greed destroyed the economy. Now millennials, millennials and Gen Z are paying the price. So not all of us boomers i'm a boomer but only technically 1962 i'm right on the last year yeah so many years ago in fact i can't remember when i i wasn't working on this i invented a Rennie society and i grew up uh reading science fiction yeah i started out with mark twain and i didn't realize that 
a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court wasn't science fiction. I always thought it was, since he kind of time travels. It's just a conceit for the story. Um, but it does talk about a solar eclipse, right? Um, but anyway, so it started there. So my interest in aligning society with today's technology has been a lifelong thing, yeah? This is probably my, I don't know, fourth or fifth website. I just started it. Um, so there's not much here. So you have to go to learn. I post my doodles here too. There's only three or four articles. Uh, but there's some pretty stark realities that we have to come to grips with. Like uh, rights are immoral, responsibilities, supplants rights. Rights were always a bad idea. <laughs> so, you don't need a new word. You just have to say responsibilities, right? So you have the responsibility to free speech. You don't have the right. You have the responsibility for guns. You have the responsibility for everything. Uh, the word right is separated from the work involved to make a uh, right happen. That's called responsibility. So you don't need the word right. So I talk about these kind of issues uh, with climate change, uh, when you get to large-scale planet-wide projects, you can't isolate the variables. And by trying to isolate climate change as a single variable relative to the rest of the world, uh, it's doomed to fail. So my article here on climate change is you need to address all the problems at once. And there's a solution for how to do that. Yeah? So, uh, I kind of agreed with this in general, but for me specifically, uh, I've been working on improving society my whole life, trying to align it with today's technology. Yeah? And of course, my solution keeps changing as technology is changing ever faster. <laughs> yeah, so there's that banner up there, yesterday's society living in tomorrow's technology. Um, we need to change society. If we don't change society, then we can't have any world projects. Yeah. Okay, so that's today's, oh, Mybrid's Musings. That's what uh, Greg came up with. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> so my commentary segment is now going to be called Mybrid's Musings in uh, the Doodle Show. Yeah. So that was our first one, our kickoff. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to hear a couple of minutes of uh, punk uh, from Dropkick Murphys uh, called Tomorrow's Industry. Yeah, enjoy. If I can find it.
Tree.